Good morning, ladies. My name is Shante Edwards, and today's devotional theme is Why is gossip so bad? And our scripture reading is taken from 1 Timothy 5, verse 13, and it reads, And besides, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but also gossips and busybodies, saying things which they ought not. This is the word of the Lord. Now, what really is gossip? Gossip is a sharing of information which ought not to be shared that may or may not be true. In most instances, this information is usually fabricated because what people think is the truth is oftentimes not. Gossip is often intentional and meant to damage someone's credibility and reputation. It is one of the most dangerous, hurtful, and venomous activities you can engage in. Now, as the scripture said, as the verse said, you have some persons in our workplaces, in our communities, at school, who just wander about from person to person, from house to house, with idle talk, with gossips saying things about persons that are not true and this these gossips this information has a way of damaging people or individuals so i have three pointers here of why gossiping is bad number one gossip destroys their trustworthiness i don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where a friend or whomever the person may be is telling you something about another person and you're there like I'm glad me never tell you not Nina because that alone will have you thinking what the person will say about you when you are not around my second point is gossip ruins reputation so you may think that you're gossip your information that you're sharing is harmless but you must remember that you are planting seeds of opinions about someone in another person's heart those seeds take root in a way in a powerful and subtle way that you can't even imagine because those roots will spread out to others so just as how you will tell someone something that person will tell another person something and another person the same thing and it's just a recurring cycle my third pointer is the bible teaches against it so god in his wisdom gave us these instructions for our own good and protection he knows how destructive and damaging gossip is in Ephesians 4 29 he urges us he urges rather us not to let any unwholesome talk come out of our mouths but only what is helpful for building up others and in Titus 3 2 it reads be ready to do whatever is good to slander no one to be peaceable and considerate and always to be gentle towards everyone now this is the kind of behavior that builds trust and cultivates good relationships now how should christians really respond to gossip mind your own words choose your words carefully and mind what you say to others acknowledge when it is gossip and shut it down i know some people delight ourselves in mouth talking gossiping but we should learn or emulate not to entertain it also we can turn gossip into an opportunity for prayer so instead of entertaining it we can just pray about it pray for that person that's telling you that information that gossip and just pray about it these are my few words let us pray 
Lord, I thank you for this new day of life this morning and for your words. I pray that you will help us your, as, as your daughters to not delight ourselves in gossiping, but that every word that goes from our mouth will be acceptable in your sight. I pray that we will build others up rather than tearing them down with our words, that we will be peaceful and kind towards one another because these instructions is for our own good. I pray the hearts of those listening to this devotional will be blessed. I thank you for your hand. I thank you that your hand is stretched out still on our lives and that your love goodness, grace, and mercies never cease towards us. I give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.